students welcome to my channel progress with professor mahamani first of all i thank all the subscribers for your continuous support and uh, now we reached the 1000 subscriber limit shortly our uh, channel uh, we are going to enable the community tab so that i can give the improved uh, i can serve you with the improved features uh, for the uh, for the reach of 1000 subscriber so uh, so first uh, credit first uh, credit goes to the subscriber you and uh, second uh, person i want to thank is my both sons so uh, one is uh, he will act as a cameraman another uh, son he will uh, he will be a editor particularly the canon master half so in this occasion i thank all my subscribers so i am seeking your continuous support to reach uh, 1 million subscribers to my channel Friends, in this video, we are going to talk about the Google Scholar H indexing and the I10 indexing. Next slide. Uh, first of all, what is meant by Google Scholar? Google Scholar is a freely accessible web search engine that indexes the full text article or metadata of uh, scholarly, uh, scholarly literature of various publishers. So, metadata means the abstract, some uh, portion of the paper, it will be appeared. So, this Google Scholar it is started in the year 2004. The difference between Google and the Google Scholar, uh, Google it will you can search everything, right? Whereas Google Scholar you can uh, search only the scholarly article. That is the basic difference between these two. Uh, the Google Scholar index includes uh, this is applicable to journal papers, books, conference paper, thesis and dissertation, technical reports and the patents. So any uh, item may be indexed into the Google Scholar. If you go to next slide. Uh, the Google Scholar citation. So this Google Scholar citation, it will be enabled in 2012. So uh, then uh, this will be a provision for an individual scholar to create personal uh, citation profile. So this uh, Google Scholar uh, citation captures the citation from various publishers. Your article may be any publisher, Science Director, I to be any, any publisher. So it will capture the citation. So citation means you know so uh, one particular article if they are, if you are, if you are uh, my article is used by someone so that is called citation I mean uh, in reference list and uh, in this Google Scholar citation even you have a manual citation also possible some uh, uh, article which is not available in online uh, just hard copy is available you can uh, there is a provision to enter the article to manual manual way also. And uh, nowadays, uh, this uh, Google Scholar citation it will be uh, clearly indicate the research history of uh, research history as well as the research profile of every scholar. Simply, if you have a Google Scholar ID, anyone can throughout the global anyone can refer. So this ID uh, it, it will be helpful to many. Days. Even uh, my channel uh, website also I am using this uh, Google Scholar link. Then uh, Google Scholar alert alert also alert also there. If you are uh, giving alert, selecting the alert option. Uh, whenever uh, article, for example, I am doing research in IDG manufacturing, uh, if I am giving alert to IDG manufacturing, whenever article uh, comes to online, so I immediately I will get an alert, alert notification to my email. And uh, Google Scholar citation, you have a co-author link also. If, uh, if I am identified, so I will be my co-authors, my PhD scholars, uh, they will be displayed at the uh, left hand side of the Google page, Google Scholar page. For uh, creating Google Scholar, so only one Gmail account it is enough, one uh, Gmail account and uh, official email ID is required to verify your account. So that's all, these two things are uh, required. Within two minutes, you can know, anyone can open the Google Scholar uh, indexing, Google Scholar citation, Google Scholar profile. Uh, here, the Google Scholar citation, it will give individual portal citation. For example, uh, I am publishing uh, around 30-35 uh, articles. So what is my total citation? 304, 304 is my citation that will be available. And within that, how many are H index, how many are I10 index? So every information it will be available with the Google Scholar citation. If you go to next slide, uh, 
so this is my Google Scholar profile. So you look at that, uh, my photograph I added, you have a provision, then uh, my name, my affiliation, my area of interest, everything is available. So my article, highest uh, cited article, it will be available at half, you can see that. So totally 58 article, uh, that uh, year of the article is 2011. If you look at uh, uh, this side, my right hand side, this side, uh, here the citations it is available, total citation 304, last 5 years, so how many citations I got, that, uh, that information also available. Uh, you, can, you can look at the HA index 11 and uh, uh, 10A index 11, so everything is available. And uh, you look at the plot, so there is a plot, year wise how, much, uh, how many citations received for my articles. So that information is also available with the Google Scholar. If you go to next slide. Uh, I think you can uh, look at the picture, so my article, number of citations here, yes. then if you look at that, uh, my co-author list it is available, they are my co-author or uh, PhD scholars. If, I, if you go to next slide, uh, I index, I10 index means, it is uh, very simple, uh, in my Google Scholar page, how many articles are having more than 10 citations, 10 or more than 10 citations. So, uh, if you look at my profile, uh, 11 articles are having more than 10, uh, more than 10 citations. So I10 index for uh, my profile, my for me is 11. If you go to next uh, slide, H index. So H index it is very critical. Already Scopus call, uh, Scopus uh, size score calculation also they are using this H index. So H index denote the quantity of research output by measuring author productivity and impact. So H index is equal to number of papers H within the with a citation of a citation number of uh, less than or equal to H H value. For uh, example, a scientist uh, with an H index of 15 has 15 papers cited at least 15 times. So this is the physical meaning of H index. If you go to next slide, uh, you look at the profile. So this is one of my uh, co-authors. This is color profile. So you look at that uh, citation 71, uh, H index 4, I10 index 3. So uh, here, I10 index, usually you can count that just how many articles crossed more than 10, 10 citation. You look at here, 29, 19 and 13, 3 articles and 4th article is only 4. So, uh, uh, so only 3 articles are cr crossed more than 10 citation, therefore I10 index is 3. Uh, now, again uh, H index, how to calculate it? So article 1 is? 29 and the second one is 19, third one is 13, fourth article is 4. So, fourth article is 4. So, that H index is 4 for, that, for this one. If you go to next slide, uh, another example I am giving to understand very clearly. So, this is my uh, my research scholar profile, Google scholar profile. I am, I am taking this. So, I am selecting 14 articles. So, each article how much citation? So, article 1 to 14 given. So, the corresponding citations also given. Uh, in this uh, table, the I10 index value is 11. So, I10 means how many articles are uh, having more than 10 citations. So, I, uh, 11 to my 11th article, look at this uh, image, I mean, uh, look at this slide. 11, uh, my 11th article have 12 citations. So, 12th article is only 9. So, 9 is less than 10. So, that 11 articles having 10, uh, more than 10 citations, 10 or more than 10 citations, therefore, I10 is 11. So another one you look at, uh, you count starts from article 1, 2, 3 like that. So 11th article having 12th. So 12th article I cannot say, uh, uh, 12th article it is only 9. So my 11th article having 12. So therefore uh, the H index is 11. So uh, you look at uh, the uh, information inside the box, H index is 11. So here I am saying that 11 papers cited at least 11 times. So this is the physical meaning. So this is the way uh, every research scholar can understand very easily what is the H index. Okay. So uh, with this video, uh, I thank all the all my subscribers for your continuous support. So please uh, watch this video, share the video to your friends, and uh, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.